Hi everyone. Yes, I have been absent. June's been absent for the past two weeks. Just thought I'd pop this one in for you and uh, explain what we've been up to for the past couple of weeks. I'll just flip the camera around and I'll show you what we've been doing for the past two weeks, why there's been no content. Right, so what we've been up to, we've been fixing this old girl up. This is what we used to travel around in and you know, travel Australia with. We're, we're actually retiring it because we've gone and purchased another one on the other side of the fence here. Uh, semi off road up against the on road type of van. Uh, this is a compass. I think it was a compass. It's not there. It's a 2006 compass. I do know that. Uh, done a bit of fixing up with the drawbar, uh, put a new pull on it, that sort of thing. Um, we're selling it with a brand new sway bar anti-roll bar, whatever you like to call them. Um, but we also actually, yes, we're selling this one because we've got to get a bit of money back because we bought that one. Um, we've still got a little bit to do on the outside, well, I have anyway, like give it a good bath and that sort of thing. But what we've done inside, I've also got to check wheel bearings and stuff like that. But what we've done inside here, we've been busy. We have been very busy. We got to, let's hope there's power there is power yes power turn the lights on so you can all see we've been busy painting now we had a funny pattern on the walls um so we painted it a dusty trail that's the color there we went to the paint shop bunnings good old bunnings you can't beat it painted the walls got to put painters tape on all of our strips and everything like that so we could actually get to and paint it uh changed our doorknobs they doorknobs were like a marble type of white sort of thing um now around the door trims all the timbers on the trims is uh oyster trail oyster bar is it oyster bar sorry uh that's the ticket there so um yeah still got a bit of work to do with the fridge in the back there it's missing a piece for the exhaust so we even had to go to we never had a splash back here so we put a splash back in on there that's only you know that took me a bit, fair bit of maneuvering to get that in there um so yeah this is what we've been up to still got a bit of little electrics to do up here and that sort of thing you know for the age of the van that it is it's not too bad we even got a stereo in here with a compact disc player type of thing. Um, yeah, basically general fixing up so we could get this on the road for someone else to enjoy. We painted inside the cupboards and had all the power points off and everything like that so we could paint in behind. Uh, painted under the beds, under bed storage. Ah, dear. Diesel heater under there as well. All caged out so nothing gets burnt. Um, still got a little bit to do there. Now it's also got toilet ensuite. Got to put a battery in the smoke alarm. All clean and nice. Stain uh, aluminium roof. So if you've got any condensation, it's going to condensate onto that, not onto the roof. Like, say if you had this sort of roof here, timbery roof, it doesn't create that mouldy look, and you think, oh, how am I going to fix it? That's the easy way of fixing it, putting an aluminium piece up there, st stick it up there. That's the way it's been since we've owned the van. We've had this van for mm, probably, 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 oh, tr truth, we're going on probably seven, eight years, probably, probably longer. But no, it's time to retire it for ourselves and let someone else try to enjoy it. Yeah, so that's what we've been up to for the past couple of weeks, fixing the old girl up and uh, trying to get it all finished. So anyway, we may not be doing any more scrapping out or anything like that. So it's just one of those things that oh, we don't know what we're going to do in the future. We'd like to be traveling more and that sort of thing. Going around with the new van, like I showed you the new van around here, I'll just show you again. We'll go outside and have a look at that, see what we've got, explain a few things on that one, and we'll 
have a look around the outside. Got a bit, bit to do inside. It's nice and tidy inside, but still got a little bit. Still got a th few things to do. We've had done one trip on it. It's not a bad looking van. Well, that's what I'd say anyway. Semi off road. Um, it's only got one leaf spring underneath there, so it's all independent there. Hot water system. Separate toilet and shower inside. Um, definitely got the different windows here. We've got a storage bay there. I've already got a solar panel in there for um, solar that's up top, but the solar up top will be changed. So in the future, we'll be towing this behind. I think we'll be towing it behind the white one down there, the one you've been seeing in the scrap runs. Um, so yes, there will be a scrap run in this video. Just thought I'd pop this in and explain what we're doing. That's all it is, and uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to have, what, what, what we've purchased, and um, we're going to enjoy this one and retire that so no, someone else can enjoy it too. So anyway, let's get into the scrap run video. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living, this shed is getting a little bit empty I reckon we need to fill it up, maybe not, but anyway, uh, we've got everything on, what I could fit on anyway, mind me, I had to fly in the nose, um, look at that, there's a bloody screw on the ground, look at that, get a flat tire with that one, um, yeah we're just trying to clean up a little bit more here, so, as you've noticed in previous videos, we've got the shade cloth down, really cleaning up here. I'll tell you what, that looks nice and clean like that. Maybe, maybe we're not going to be bringing these back, all these IBC pods. So, we might get a fresh lot. We'll see what happens. Um, there is other things on the cards, what we're doing and that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, we're um, making decisions what we're doing and that sort of thing. So, I've got two in the last couple of days, been cleaning up the shed and whatever else I can get on a load. Um, got a few other things we've got to get out of here yet. So, we've got a fair old stack on here. Got a bit of corrugated iron that I've accumulated from, and I've had it stuck way up in the back of the scrub over there. And um, I don't know, pick up, as you noticed in, in, in my last video over the, over the week, was um, a couple of stoves, dish, uh, dishwashers and all that sort of thing. I've pulled them apart. They are no longer over the back over here. They're all gone, so I haven't received any more appliances, so that's good in some ways. Um, it makes it tidier for this place. I'm down to actually getting in and doing some more mowing and that sort of thing, but I can't use this one because I'll give you an example why I can't use this one. She's a bit buggered up in the front end, crack windscreen, and inside it, I used to use this, get a load of this, Get a load of that. Whoa! Anyway, I'll explain that. I was using it one day, going down the hill, and it is hydrostatic, and it jumped into neutral. And I was just hanging on for grim death. But anyway, can't use that one, so I'm down to using my own, my own little four-wheeler. So it does seem to do a better job anyway. It takes me a little bit longer, but I don't have to pay for the fuel, that's the thing. Um, they're paying me to use mine. I've actually just picked up another one for free. So this is the one I've got for free. Just turn yours around. That's the one I'm using at the moment. I have got the engine cowling for it. Just got to do a bit of work on that one. Um, this one here, apparently the dog chewed the wires. So yeah, not a bad little machine, I reckon. A couple of flat tires, that's a new one there. Probably have to clean the rim up and that sort of thing. It is a tubeless, but... Um, I may chuck a tube in it instead because the rims are so rusty on this side. It's got a brand new blade underneath. I was going to scrap it out, but when I seen the brand new blade, I thought, well, it must have been going. So I'm going to try and fix it up, regardless of the rusty old seat. Got to put a new ignition in it, that sort of thing. So we'll see what it happens with that. And But anyway, we're getting down to this load. I reckon we've got at least a couple of tonne, two tonne on there with all what we've got on the back. I know there's a fair bit of heavy stuff in there, um, besides what we've got on the front here. I will be doing another run 
oh probably this week i hope so um with all our non-ferrous stuff like all of our copper stainless steel that sort of thing even the brake drums over here they class that as a non-ferrous even though it's magnetic um because it go that'll go as inside or hms so we have got in behind all of this here there's a 44 gallon drum in the middle there I filled that up, I cut one open with the run that I'd done, picked up a whole heap of 44 gallon drums and yeah, got it all loaded up. So we'll head to the scrapyard this afternoon, won't be another day, we'll be just today and get it over there, get it done, but I still reckon we've got about two tonne, maybe a little bit more because I don't usually go over. Lately I haven't been going over with the amount that I've got on the trailer, nor do I go over with the amount that's on there. So. We'll see what happens when we get over there, how much we weigh and how much we're going to get paid.
let's hope we're not too late. Sort of left a bit later than you, I thought I would. But anyway, we're here now, hoping that they'll accept us. Gotta go right around, I'm not gonna mess about. Holy dooly, what the hell? Who's in here? Oh yeah, there's someone in here. Uh, truth or what? Visit. 4.86. Here we go, mate. You're not out and about, eh? No. Oh, I see you got a major breakdown out here. That's been down since Wednesday last week. Oh, you're kidding? No, it hasn't been fun. No. Water pump. Bugger. The one that turned up today is the wrong one. All right. Get it unstrapped. <laughs> the amount of stuff they got on the ground, I'm going to leave it all here. That way it doesn't make it a big mess for them. I'll try and make it easy for them. I will be back over it during the week, I hope. This is non ferrous stuff. Broke a strap kit near too. It's only a weak one, it doesn't matter. Down a bit, go in there. Yeah, I got it.
What's he doing now? He's coming in there. Right, just got to wait. I don't know where they want it, especially where they've got a breakdown. Yeah, good day, phone. How you going? Don't spill on my lollies. Do, 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 do. Oh, I haven't finished my straps back in. It's truth light. He's got to go and weigh him out anyway. So I've got a bit of time up my sleeve. Get these ones out of the road. I don't wind this one up because it's got a knot in it. Oh, what have we got there? Another crate. I'll just go away that truck off. Yeah, you do that, mate, and I'll get these off for you. Yeah, it'll fit down there. Should fit. Come on, start again. It's falling apart. Rusty old thing, this. There we go. Told you it fit. Right, now lay this one down. Alright. That's that. Get back to me strap. Well, I can back it over there, it doesn't matter. What's that? I can back over there, it doesn't matter. Oh. Yeah, it's up to you. Oh. Whatever you think is going to be easiest.
think we're done enough there. Yep. Alright, gotta find out what's going on. No worries, I'll wait then. Get this unloaded, I couldn't go any further. What a mess, man. Might fall out as I open this all up. Don't want this flying out of me. Stay boy, stay. Oh, put that up here. Sheet. This is the worst I've ever seen it. <laughs> Here, go up, mate. Here, go in there. You heard about that mushroom. 
straight in there. Straight up. Better leave the craft there. Eh? <laughs> I already could have dragged that one out. Nothing moves anyway. Just a broken strap. Pretty good. <laughs> Bless me. Yeah, keep going in. But you'll have to drag it out. Go a bit higher. Keep coming. Go in more if you want. Yeah, you got four inches. That'll leave it. All right, going way up. It's always a quick transition here. Always. You didn't want that, did you? Got a bit of weight in that one. Not a bit. Oh, it's pretty light. <laughs> hey, it always is. <laughs> All right. Done and dusted. All right. Well, we made it. Made it before half past four. The Bray Bridge shuts at half past four. Wait till he gets off. So it's only taken us hmm, roughly around 20 minutes to unload. Pretty quick time. I know. Wade we me without it. They'll block me otherwise. Ito, Ito. I'm off. Uh, I thought it was heavy, so the total is 2.62. Well, I was pretty close on the weight. Did say two ton. We come in at 2.2. Not bad at all but anyway let's get down to how much we got paid for that load right mind the little bit of a wind we took in pressing steel ibc's uh we weighed in at four thousand eight hundred and eighty kilos weighed out at 2.62 uh adjustments of about 40 kilos for the IBCs they say that uh, so we actually took in 2.22 ton so I was pretty close on my weight there 28 and a half cents a kilo then they paid us oh, well, without the without the waste levy $632.70 I think that is then you come down take out the waste levy of 86 $84.30 so we came home with $548.34 mind the blurriness of the phone so I'm just recording that this with my phone and then they've got a total GST which is all included anyway well that's not too bad taking over 2.2 ton so anyway 
We came home with a decent amount, $548.34. Don't mean to be a parrot, I'm repeating myself. I only wish we could continue doing that, but anyway, um, things are changing. So uh, anyway, if you've come this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Now, I have got a QR code for those people with their smart TVs. If you want to scan it with your phone and scan the QR code, we'll put a QR code up here in the corner for you. Um, so, we can, so you can actually subscribe if you wish to subscribe. But if you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell when you have scanned the QR code. So till next one, everyone, I will see you in the next one. Cheerio!